All right guys, so today I'm taking a look at a Wi-Fi smart plug. The difference in this one and most of the others that I have is this is designed to be used outdoors. So it is IP44 water resistant. So you're not gonna submerge this, but you can not worry anything about rain, snow, things like that, shouldn't be a problem. You can see here it has a rubber covered button and the plug itself is also really well protected. of course the three prongs so grounded this has over volt protection um, the cool thing about this is it also has energy monitoring so if you want to hook up a device and monitor the actual energy used uh, that isn't always the option with every smart switch so this does give you that functionality um, it also has of course over volt protection uh, the remote control aspect in terms of using the app itself on the phone just clicking the buttons we'll take a little bit closer look at that in a moment and then of course if you have a uh, Amazon Echo device or your Google Assistant, you can use this for those and have the voice control aspect as well. So that's all really cool. Um, it does come with this little cover for the plug in case you one cares and a little box with some information. So the other thing is it does have an instruction manual. Oh, it also works with if this, then that which is really cool. Um, I used to use that quite a lot, but nowadays with the Amazon Echo, a little bit the Google Assistant, mo mostly with my Amazon Echo devices, um, I find that to be the nicest um, form of functionality for me. But it has a really good user manual, very uh, good information, and you know it has detailed information as well as pictures and everything. So utilizing this should be really, really easy. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is it recommends using the, or it says to use the Smart Life app However, um, all of the apps are basically the same, I think, essentially. They have very similar functionality, and instead of having 10 different devices with 10 different pieces of software, 10 different apps, I use the one that I used in the very beginning, I've been very happy with. It's called Toya, T-U-Y-A, and I have not had a device yet that it does not function with. So I'm gonna suggest if you have an app like that on your phone that you're already using for other smart plugs and devices, try to utilize or utilize that first. Um, another thing to keep uh, in mind here is you can hang this with the little uh, hanging area and it does have little rubber feet in case you are having to be sitting this on a surface and there's an LED indicator right here. So anyway, it seems really well made and where I'm at right now, obviously we're just gonna do this for demonstration purposes um, until I get moved to a new location, which hopefully will happen in the next few months or so. Um, I won't be able to utilize this in the outdoor uh, capacity the way I plan to, but I just wanted to give you guys a demonstration to show you uh, it functioning with the app, kind of give you an idea of the app itself, and just show you an overview of the actual unit itself. So it seems pretty solid, pretty well made. The uh, rubber covering the switch, nice you know, contact and everything. So there's gonna be a link below as always, you can check out more, read other reviews, find out more specific information about the device, but I just wanted to share this with you really quickly. Um, I'll give you a little rundown on the app, show you how that works, and that's pretty much it. So let's check it out in a little more detail as far as the app goes so you can see how this functions. Thanks. All right, so hopefully you can see this well enough. Got my trusty fan here that serves as an example. I've grabbed out of one of the other rooms and the switch and the phone. So there's a the button on the thing here on the unit. You can press that. You can see the fan. Well, you can see in here probably the fan is now running. The light is illuminated. I can turn it back off. And on the phone you can see hopefully the uh, switch is off and on as well. Of course I can turn that off and on here. Um, I can set up schedules, which I'm not obviously going to do a schedule. Timers, if I want to set up a timer for this to run. So that's really good at night if you need to turn it on and you know have it turn off at a certain time. And then statistics, you can see the actual power usage as I was talking about, which you don't always get with every smart device, smart switch like this. So that's also a nice option. So that's also very cool. I'm going to turn that off. So adding this was very easy. This is the Toya Smart app again, so that may be a little different depending upon what app you're using, but very similar um, in functionality. And you can see it's very responsive, very quick. So there's really no delay. 
turns off and turns on very, very quickly, very easily. Of course, you can name it whatever you like, but it's very simple to add. You basically plug this in, the light will be flashing. Uh, you tell it to add the device, you know, confirm your network for the Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz, not the 5 gigahertz, and proceed to follow the steps. I mean, it's very simple, very easy. The manual is very informative in case you run into a problem. But like I said, I just wanted to show you this. Uh, this will probably become an outdoor light for my uh, little dog whenever I get moved. But because I can't actually do anything with that location at this point, I can only give you a demonstration now of what you might expect from this. But um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Uh, this will be, for me, under a covered location, so water won't be a problem at all. But again, you can hang this up, keep it from being, you know, in an area where water might flood an area and submerge the actual unit, and you can keep it well protected and covered with the plug when not in use. If you're worried about anything, uh, you have the old over voltage protection built in for whatever device you connect to it. Uh, that is pretty much it. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you, kind of give you a quick example of the app and show you how simple it is to use, how responsive and quick it is. And that, that is pretty much all I have to say. Really love having these smart devices and having this one for the outdoors is going to be really, really great. So if you want to find out more, like I mentioned before, there's a link below the video. You can check that out and you can read more of the details and Hopefully once I get to using this on a more frequent basis, if you have any questions, I can answer those. If you have any, you can leave that in the comment below. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it, okay? So thanks for watching. I hope this is useful.